We've put our Holosyn Optic on our Taurus GX4. How do we actually sight that in? I like to use a stand just so that I'm more steady. You can make something yourself to put your hands on using sandbags if you want to. Now you're gonna need hearing protection. You're gonna need some eye protection also. We've got, we're using Hertz nine millimeter ammo. It's 115 grain. We got our 13 round magazines here. Now, when I first do these magazines, I'm only gonna run 12 in them. I like to leave a little bit of extra space so it doesn't hang up on the first round as we get started with breaking it in. I've got a range finder. You don't have to have one of these, but it does make it a whole lot easier when you're doing this. So I've set my target out there. I'm 10 yards away from where I'm shooting at. If you want it a little closer as you start, I'm just gonna take a shot at it and then I'm going to adjust it in towards the center based on where it lands. So we've got our first round in the chamber here and let's just sight this thing in and give it one fire, see how we are. Now, let's unload the gun. Chamber's clear. Make sure you unload your gun before you begin adjusting your optic. Brought a small flathead screwdriver. Now, when I look down at the target, I am approximately four inches to the left. I am less than a half inch high. So we'll make some adjustments here. So we're going to go down just a tiny bit. I'm gonna to change to my glasses so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So we're going to do you see the directional arrow here on top of the optic? It tells you which way is up. So since we're going down, we're gonna turn it in the opposite direction. And you see your directional arrow here on the side of your optic, and it should tell you right. So we're gonna, we are now left, so we're gonna turn it to the right. So let's just adjust it. I'm gonna go two clicks down. You need a really small screwdriver to make this work. Or you can use the tool that come with your optic to do this, which I didn't bring, I forgot. Really fine clicks there, you really just have to feel it. Now we're going to the right. Slowed it back up. Let's see how close we are now. Good firm grip here. get our round out of that chamber. Chamber's clear. We made it halfway towards the bullseye. We went 10 turns to the right, so we're gonna go 10 more to the right. Okay, we're close enough at this distance, so now we're on. Let's move that target back to 20 yards. That's where I like to set mine at. You can set yours at the distance that you choose. 20 yards is what I normally set my carry pistols at. So we've moved our target back. Let's check our zero at this distance. Clear our chamber, see how we did. Elevation is good, we're just off to the right. So let's move it left a little bit. The further you are away from the optic, the smaller the adjustments are on your optic to get it to zero. Chamber's clear. Let's check it again. Let 
now that we've tweaked it and made some fine adjustments one click left one click down let's just see how close we are three shots just to go check we are clear That's the basics on setting up your optic and getting it zeroed in on your firearm. Remember, it's a two inch dot, so I'm shooting in a two inch circle out there at 20 yards. And I'm gonna go with that for now, and we're just gonna have some fun and shoot this thing for a little while. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Till next time, folks, take care.